Finally, on this night so crucial to choosing our next president, there's a remote place where nearly all those who have held the Oval Office before, from George Washington to George W. Bush, have gathered together. NBC's Kevin Tibbles explains how giant tributes to our president ended up where you'd least expect. It's an unlikely meeting place for these heads of state, a muddy Virginia field. It's for sale, you want it? The presidents of the United States made of plaster and metal. From their lifelike eyes to their ties, weathered and worn. I'm glad I could save them. Once a tourist attraction outside Williamsburg where few ever came. It's hail to Howard Hankins. When the contractor was asked to cart the commanders in chief away and crush them, he just couldn't do it. People are losing track of the sacrifices these guys make. I'll let them sit here forever like this before I smash them. So sit they do. While he plans a new park, he already has a mock up for a larger Obama statue. We got Obama. He says history's in his blood. Howard's family has been here since before the Revolutionary War. Before there were presidents, we were here. Now he's surrounded by Washington, who appears to be crying. He, he probably is crying about the situation of the country right now. And Lincoln, who was accidentally dropped in the move. You ever come out here when it's quiet? It's kind of eerie. I do. I come out here all the time. I come check on the guys. Just look at all these politicians assembled together in one place, and yet it's completely silent. But it is also monumental and breathtaking. It's like they're home now. I'm going to take care of them. And what would they say about the present state of affairs? Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Croker, Virginia. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.